I saw the Filipino TV series on the job. This is a six episode miniseries on HBO Max. Originally, these are two movies just split into six episodes. The first two episodes are from the movie On the Job, released back in September of 2013. And then the last four episodes of this miniseries is from the most recent On the Job 2, The Missing Eight, released on September 12th, 2021. And then after the releases there, it was turned into a six episode miniseries for the US on the HBO Max streaming service. This series is directed by Eric Matty. This series stars Piolo Pascual, Gerald Anderson, Joel Torre, Dennis Trio, John Arcelia, and Lolo De Leon. My rating for the miniseries On The Job is a four out of five, and here's why. This series is inspired by a true story. This is a crime drama that follows a criminal underworld of corrupt police officers profiting off of hiring prison inmates to assassinate political opponents and or journalists and the good cops and journalists investigating who are the people involved in hiring these assassins. Once again, like I said up top, this series is basically two movies split into six episodes. I have to say it did work splitting it into episodes because I didn't notice that these were movies before. It was until I looked it up that I found out these were originally movies. The story is well written, a very visceral, very gritty crime drama. It bears similar themes to other crime dramas, but the story of this series really engrosses you to follow it through. Now, after knowing that it was a movie, there were some issues with the story, especially between episodes 2 and 3, where it was a little bit confusing, because between episodes 2 and 3, that is that transition between the two movies. The storytelling during that part is very convenient to help assist it to this other story. Essentially, the two movies are not connected, but they make it related to each other in a way. The directing of the series is great in this. Unfortunately, there are some scenes where you can see some production issues with the scene. Example, a microphone pack, but not noticeable in the way that it will take you away from the series. The acting performances in this series is great. I am not too familiar with a lot of these Filipino actors. I am getting to see some of these actors for the first time, and they were all great with their performances. This miniseries is a great crime drama taking place in a different setting. It is also eye-opening to see something like this take place in another country and to see how these other countries operate with their prison systems is way different than the US. On the Job is a great crime drama to check out. Some of the story points may be confusing a bit, but the story keeps you engaged to try to figure out this mystery. That is my review of the Filipino miniseries on HBO Max called On the Job. Please check out more of the Spellgo YouTube channel and thank you for watching.